Howdy y'all, I'm Around the Wheel, and you are watching Lemmings to the Tribes. This is a rare late night recording session for me. This is usually around the time I'm at work. I do uh, overnight, as you may know. But I'm off tonight, and I'm up, and I'm recording. And we're starting with uh, the penultimate level of the Classic Tribe, which is Flying the Mad Pursuit. I'm looking at the mini-map on this one, and I, th I actually remember some significant stuff about this one, I think, from back when I was trying to make twitch happen Gretchen and let's see yeah this one is going to involve some building at the beginning if I believe correctly this is the level I've kind of like been waiting for in my like this is the level I've been waiting for in my heart of hearts like I kind of remember that you have to save everybody and it's kind of a tricky thing to do because you gotta like they come out fast and you have to build your way across like yeah, like, you have to get pixel perfect on the builds here. It's pretty wild. So, yeah, there we go. Okay, so, coming from the back end here, let's try... Okay, another one's... Oh, looks like they're walking up the way. Okay, good, 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 good. So, we got that working. Yeah, I remember this one really well. I remember trying to build over this because I remember it being highly traumatic. But I think we might be able to get away with... Can we get away with nuking a blocker? I can't remember that part, but I'm going to try it. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I only wanted one to get past. There we go. So we're going to go here now through this. That uses up our basher. And where are we going from here? We're going down and kind of... Okay, we're gonna mine, maybe mine, yeah, mine once, yeah, to get it going in here, yeah, okay, yeah, I remember this level pretty well, actually, I, I'm surprised at my lack of memory for a lot of the classic levels, but this one I remember extremely well, I've played this level before, and it was honestly kind of traumatic. Okay, we want to, but that's why I remember it so well, though. So, let's see. What we want to do, then, is... Okay, we got to get you facing left, so you have to dig at some point. Alright, now you have to build up onto this thing here. Okay, so, actually, at this point, he could probably be a climber. Nobody is going to come around this way. They're all going to dig out onto here... Okay, so what I need to do here is get exactly close enough. Okay, this is going to require... This is going to be the part with the precision. Okay. I have to get... Nope, I'm too far away. I have to get close enough to where he'll... Five, six... Well, maybe not. Okay. Yeah, I think I might actually nail this. Yeah, I needed one bridge and I needed him to climb up that. Okay, good. Wow, boy, I am in fine form for just deciding to record on a whim all of a sudden go me all right <laughs> tooting my own horn a little here if if and i don't mind okay so what okay you should probably float just to be safe i think you would have survived that fall but you can never be too sure we want to get you around here this feels like doing lemmings back in the day when i knew everything about every level and there was nothing blind about it, and it was all just like me being amazing all the time. Like this is how this is how this feels right now. I should be able to get away with having him turn around if need be, because I have two builders, and I'm only going to need two more. I'm going to try to get this to stretch out and get him to hit and turn around. Yeah, there we go. Good. Okay, so one more turn around for you. And then you're going to, let's see, I think you can just dig into the exit from here. Uh, I could dig or mine. It's kind of fielder's choice. Well, yeah, yeah, we'll go ahead and mine down into there. That's a, that's a fun way to do it because we can dig right here. Get the rest of you out. There you go. Excellent. Okay. Chop, chop, everybody. That was a quick solve right there for what is... Nominally a pretty hard level, but I just I remember this one too well it, it stuck in my memory everything about this like I've been thinking about this level For a long long time and there it is is this silver or gold? 
Ooh, that's silver, though. Mmm. So you can do it without a blocker. Well, it was pretty easy to do for the silver. I can't imagine it would take mu Well... Okay, yeah. Um... Mm, yeah, it shouldn't take much more to do it gold. Shouldn't take that much more effort, I wouldn't think. Right? So I'm going to create a little tent here at the beginning. Something is coming back to me that I need to do it this way. So we got to, again, get this re really stretched out here. Okay, now I'm, now I'm going to start losing it. Now I'm losing the thread. Okay, oh boy. Here we go, here we go. Losing the thread one pixel at a time, okay? You go to here. All right, so what I'm now going to do is build into the wall here. And that should allow me to get somebody in there nice and tight. As soon as somebody gets up against the wall, let's see, what do I want to do? How do I want to do this okay we can go ahead and probably okay we're gonna go ahead and bash with you if one gets through it's fine oh golly it's oh it's a tight one it's a tight one nobody die please good okay so yes this is sealed up so these three can now turn around and I can have this... Okay, this guy can be the one that goes ahead. Because now they're just going to turn around. And yeah, now I did it like I was doing. Except I have one less builder to do it this time. Because I used it to seal this up. So I have to get this part exactly right now. Alright, I'm going to approach this part a little differently. And it's going gonna, it's gonna to be the end of me if I don't get it right. But I need to get it so that I start mining as soon as he hits the turnaround point. That's going to be the tough part here. Hopefully I can get this. Okay. I'm going to be coming up on it real soon now. And nope. Chopped right into the water. I got scared. I got skittish. I should probably dig. I should probably start building from a little higher up in the dig and just let him run out of tiles. I think that's manageable. Yeah, I should just be able to mine to end the bridge and then I can dig into here. Yeah, this level requires some pretty maddening precision, honestly. But I think I got all my frustrations out of the way low those many years ago when I did this on Twitch. Okay, so go ahead and chop it off, and then you got plenty of diggers to make it to the end. And so do they, I think. Should be able to make it rather... Yeah, regardless of whether he hit on steel or not, it was going to be fine. And if he... He's not going to go out to the right. He was digging to the left. So there we go. This time we saved the appropriate amount of lemmings. And all is well in the classic tribe. There we go. Now we're hopping on the top of the podium there. Very good. Very good. So, yes. That could have been a much more frustrating level. But, uh, you know... Memory does funny things sometimes. So we're moving on to the last level. Last level. And then once we get a medallion tr chunk. Once we get a medallion in the trunk. Uh, we only have one tribe left. Oh my gosh. Finally after all this time we're there. What's it like up there? Up on top of the winner's podium. What's it like to feel the rush of adrenaline. Holding that medal up in the air. We got five minutes on this one. Uh, quite a litany of... I don't think we're going to be using 20 blockers and 20 exploders. Uh, seems seems a little late in the try to be pushing a sucker's gambit on me. But, okay, here we go. W one digger, two miner. There's... Now we're getting into the me. So there's probably going to be something funky with bashing, digging, whether it's horizontal, vertical, diagonal. What have we got going here? Okay, so we've got... Okay, so everybody is safe right at the beginning, so I'm not I'm not super worried about it right now. So what have we got here? So we're going to be, looks like our bashers are lined up so that they're going 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So does somebody need to go over a wall here? Looks pretty well poised so that they might have to do that. 
All right, so let's see. Go down into here with a miner. What? Where? Okay, yeah. The climber is gonna go up here. A climber is gonna go up here. Looks like we just have to send one over to the left, and everybody can kind of do their business. Okay. All right, I'm gonna get a climber going to the left. I'm gonna see if this is as easy as it's looking. So we're gonna go then, and the rest of you are going to dig, and we're gonna get we're gonna get truck in on this great highway that we call life. So two miners. All right, I'm gonna. Okay, one one builder is for over the exit. It would look like. Okay, so now they're in there. We're gonna get going on the bashing adventure at the same time, uh, or not? Ha <laughs> ha. Uh, silly, silly idea there. Uh, maybe one climber needs to go over and and what? Because this climber needs to turn himself around. That's my other builder right here. Unless I go down into here, I yeah, you could do that. You could, you could, you could probably get it so that you. Okay, so maybe bashing there was a mistake, but I may have some extras. Let's find out. So he didn't go into there. I think I want to get down into here, so that he won't climb out of here. I think I may have needed someone to come up the other side and do this. This is where you need to turn yourself around with a builder. Got it. Okay. And then you have to keep a very close eye on that. Okay, I'm going to I'm going to readjust real quick. I'm going to readjust my paradigms. One guy goes over the top here, and then another climber goes over this way. That's two climbers. I'm out of climbers now, so I'm inclined to think I do need the both of them. So, which one's going to get to their destination first? Looks like Oh boy, it's a photo finish. I'm gonna go ahead and let you build now, just so you hit the wall. I don't need you to hit the wall right up on it, just I need you to hit the wall, period. So, okay, so you go over. Now I need to watch very carefully who's doing what. We're gonna be managing two lemmings at the same time, which sometimes in this game is uh, can be excruciating. So there we go. Okay, so to avoid doing that, Okay, I have to keep a very close eye on you. Because you can climb up there penalty free, but okay, so now here I need to chop down into, I may have started from too far back. I'm going to go from here for now, see what happens. But, let's see. Okay, so yeah, you're going to keep bashing. I think I did this from too far forward. I need it to be I need it to be so that they go in here. I need it to be so that they can enter this. Well, if they enter this tunnel. Okay, but if I. Now, if I go out this way, mine down here. If I mine down here. Well, no, I don't have to pay too much attention to this. I can pay more attention to this after the first basher. Because he just goes down there and he has. He has multiple hit points, so I don't have to pay too much attention to him. But, yeah, so they get out of here. Yeah, I need a builder to make up for this. And I did come from a little too far back. Will he step up? No, he climbed it, so that was too far back. So, yeah, I need to conserve a builder somewhere. Where would the best place be to do that? Maybe right here. Dig bash into here yeah maybe I can just bash into here to turn him around I don't need to build to turn him around I can bash so that makes that more efficient that leaves one two three four five six seven you only need seven bashers I think seven or eight so yeah there's room for a spare basher right there and that should be fine okay once again really close on who's gonna need to start their job first they're pretty equal distances away from where they need to be but yeah, it's like, it's like frame perfect, and he's already climbing up the wall. Like, holy moly, maybe I should put a little distance between climbers. That's, that's just too close for comfort at all. Okay, so we're going to make the third one a climber so that we have a little space there. 
and we know that we can have him bash first. Okay, yeah, 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 much better. Wow, that's crazy how the timing works out on that. Okay, so, so yeah, now I need to watch you. You're pretty contained for now. So I need to make sure I mine from the right spot. What happened there? Did I, am I missing a pixel or something? Okay, yeah, it's a complete bridge now. That's, well, that was weird. Okay, now I need to come from a little farther back this time. Not too far back, maybe like right here. All right, so now while you're mining, yes, get to the business of bashing through these. These are definitely, these boots are definitely made for bashing. So I just need to make sure the miner tunnel is shallow enough that when the walkers come from here, we're going to dig here, obviously. Uh, okay, so go there. Okay, please end soon. Don't keep going. Don't keep going. Stop, stop, stop. Oh, that's a cool shave. Please stop, please stop. Okay, good. Couldn't have gotten much more perfect than that. Thank goodness. Okay, so now... Now you just kind of continue that work. Well, okay, if it gets too low here... Could mean trouble if it gets too low. Uh, but we're gonna go ahead and... Yeah, we're gonna mine from like here and then bash through to the end there okay so we need to get the we do need to get them going just to keep them from dying so let's do that we don't want the fall height to be too crazy crazy here okay okay and that's the end of you okay yeah there you go right before you get into the water all right so there we go Climber kind of flailing, trying to do his thing. <laughs> He's trying to get up, but it's not happening for him. I'm sorry, buddy. <laughs> okay, so now this is going... Okay. Alright, now the now the Climber gets to do the bashing. Okay, sorry. You don't have to go through that again, Mr. Climber. There you go. Alright, so no diggers, so we can't just make this easy. Okay, this, this should be pretty simple, though. I have three bashers left. I'd be awfully surprised if I managed to screw this up. But, you know, stranger things have happened. Okay, yeah, that should be the last one. There he goes again. <laughs> okay, so now, yeah, one builder to the exit. That's it. Okay. So, yeah, that wasn't too bad a level. I mean, it was probably like, I'd call it maybe taxing, late taxing, early mayhem difficulty. Now, if they crisscross at the same spot here, that could get kind of ugly. But, looks like it... Well, I say it worked out in the end, but he came over the hill just a little too... Okay, it sealed up fine. Whew. Okay, I was about to say... Well, there it is. Okay, that level, we can call that one solved. Everybody go to the... So the classic tribe, yeah. Little bit of a... Little bit of classic flavor and interruption in our usual uh, crazy flights of fancy, but... Getting a little more grounded and back to basics, but there it is. Give me the award, and I think this piece of the medallion actually has the the middle chunk as well. It's kind of a weird looking chicken neck type situation. So here we go. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And there's number one. Yeah, the nice little moony piece in the oh, that piece is big. It's causing a lot of slowdown. Oh man. Okay, so. Only one more to go, and that is the Medieval Tribe. So let's go to it as soon as it lets us. I think we'll do at least one level in Medieval. Maybe not, maybe even two if it's easy enough. Just to keep up a decent home stretch, headed to the end of the game kind of pace. We're going to do at least one here. I want to see what's... I want to get acquainted with it and see what we're up against here. The Medieval Tribe... Uh, I think some people have expressed a lot of fondness for this one. Lemming of Nottingham. So yeah, this is your, you know, you get a little bit of everything. Your kind of average uh, first level here. A very long, elongated first level of the tribe. But here we go. Lemming of Nottingham, all caps, screaming in my face. What have we got? That is certainly an entry hatch. <laughs> oh, good night. <laughs> That's a, I think that may even somehow be more primitive than the caveman one. How weird. Okay. 
So the exit is, okay, the little tower over here. This hand looks like it could be a trap, but I think it's too high to really do anything, unless there is a very long animation cycle involved there. So we definitely, of course, want to get scooping out, first of all. We want to we want to scoop our crates. That's a that's a peasant's job to sur to to scoop the crates. I don't remember crates really being a terribly medieval thing actually. So okay, do we have a, just a basic filler or do we just have the sand pourer? Okay, the sand pourer is a little more complicated, but we'll roll with it. We'll rock it. We'll we'll rock the changes. One sand pourer, all that was needed. Very good. So, let's see. The best way to do this would be to uh, probably jetpack. You know they had jetpacks back in the Middle Ages, so we should avail ourselves of the, you know, the technology of the day. I think, I think there's probably nothing wrong with doing that. So get a jetpacker up there, and we'll uh, we'll scoop backwards on this one. You know, work smarter, not harder. So let's get it done there. All right, turn around. Wonder the torches are probably just a background detail. I'm used to fire being dangerous in a living game. I mean, call me old-fashioned, but I'm I'm kind of of the opinion that you shouldn't touch fire. Uh, so and then we can just dig into here from here and boom, very well done. That was a that was a very simple level, leading me to believe this may be one of the easier tribes. Uh, which as we as we embark on the final lap of our Lemmings 2 world tour here. Might be nice to have a breather in the final levels. So they're raising up a thing that... Are they raising up their sides? Is this the peasant revolution that we've been promised? Alright. Finally, the limbing proletariat rise up and shake off their shackles. Good for you guys. There should be one straggler left going... No, no, they're all pretty... They're all in pretty uniform time here. So very good. That was a... That was a very simple level. Kind of as... Kind of as close to like just dig difficulty as this game really gets, but maybe, maybe it will throw something worse at us. I, I seem to believe there are catapults in this tribe, uh, you know, old-fashioned cannons. We've got. Why don't we just have the? If you've got the jetpack, why not just also have the cannon? I, I'm, I'm pretty sure there are catapults in the medieval tribe. We will see how they work. To what extent? the trajectory, and so on and so forth. Sir, I kid ye not. Still quite a bit to work with here. I'm going to go ahead and do one more here today. This is this is moving at a pretty decent pace. I'm okay with it. And if I'm okay with it, then you should be okay with it as well. You do what I say. I make the rules around here, you know? All right, so, okay, we got a... This is like the first vertical level in a while. But, you know, Classic didn't have any vertical scrolling, so that would be... This is a pretty simple, uh, down the way kind of deal. Well, we do have to use the twister. Um, looks like we're gonna have to stomp out here. Any climbers? No? Would not appear to be the case. Sand pourer. This is steel, so we're gonna have to sand pour up to here. Okay, we're... Okay, we have club bashers as well. Okay, we have enough... We have enough of everything to really handle everything pretty well, I think. If we, uh, if we, uh, are wise and we... Okay, let's... Let's take you down diagonal-like. That, that looked pretty. Oh, that's very good. Okay. Well, we have enough... Let's go ahead and save a club basher for the end, I guess. Uh... Flamethrowers should be able to cut through this with ease. Alright, the only real tough part is going to be the sand pouring. Getting it to incline the way we want. Nothing else should really prove too difficult here. This is a... Alright, Medieval is going really simple so far. I'm enjoying it. Okay, so we want to get... Alright, we want to get... Oh, no, 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 no. Too close, too close to the wall. To the windows, to the walls. There we go. Okay. Okay, yeah, this is this is sand pouring done easy, but that's once again too close. All right, so there you go. All right, yeah. Okay, two of them got us over. That's that's very nice. Okay, so pretty simple, just like judging distances, not too not too hard a time being had here, and we should just be able to club out. I don't think this is. Will we hit steel here or? 
Well, no, that's not the kind of metal that this game would recognize as steel, weirdly enough. If it's part of a decoration, if it's part of an aesthetic experience, then you can still just smash through it with a club. Knight, knight's helmets, they do nothing to prevent the knight's heads from getting smashed in like so much modeling clay. But th these little squares right here, no doing, nothing doing there. But getting through, getting through this, Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Well, medieval started out uh, quite simple. So there we are. That gives us uh, eight levels to finish the series. I think we can keep up a pretty good pace from there. Uh, we might end up we might end up going short on the end. Who knows? Or we might end up going long. I don't know. I'm just kind of playing it by ear. But here we are. We're in the very last tribe of the dang old game. Can you believe it? I mean, I know it's taken a while to get through. What with what with various uh, interruptions of service from yours truly, Mr. Round the Wheel. Uh, necessary interruptions, but interruptions all the same. It's been a long road, but we are finally traveling the road to Castle Victory. I can hardly believe it this is wild we are almost done with lemmings to the tribes only eight levels left to go holy mother